In a matter of months, medication abortions will be available to students attending state-funded universities here in California. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on how this legislation will be funded and why supporters say it will also help other women seeking abortion services here in the state. Well, that's right. This legislation goes into effect on January 1st, requiring student health centers on all UC and Cal State campuses to offer medication abortions, something that SDSU, UC San Diego, and Cal State San Marcos do not currently offer. I don't think I had any idea what a game changer this would ultimately be, but once again, California is on the forefront. State Senator Connie Leva originally proposed this legislation in 2017 under then-Governor Jerry Brown, who vetoed it. Reintroduced in 2019, Governor Newsom ultimately signed it into law, requiring state-funded universities, although not community colleges, to offer abortion pills. Students on campuses up and down the state of California will be able to make that decision uh, for themselves when they, when they need to. I think that's great. Students we spoke with, like this grad student who just started at San Diego State, were fully supportive of this move. Well, there's so many other states that it's not offered, so I feel like it's important to have that option and be able to fe feel safe knowing that that's an option here for students that might be going through something right now. Anti-abortion groups like the California Family Council lobbied against the bill before it passed the legislature. But supporters say that in the wake of Roe versus Wade being overturned, this law has even greater significance. According to UCSF, more than 6,200 students could seek medication abortions on campus each year, instead of going to other clinics off campus, providing more access to abortion services to women here in California or in other states who may have difficulty finding help. Now we, we just have created all this space for these other women. Senator Leva says that the funding for this legislation will come from private sources, including training for university health care centers. That report by UCSF also finds that students who currently have to go off campus for a medical abortion are paying on average $600, which would dramatically change under this legislation. If you have health insurance or you sign up for the student health insurance, it will be free to you. If you don't have either of those, it will be $60 to $80. And that training for health care providers will be taking place over the next several months so that all UC and Cal State campuses will be prepared to meet that January 1st deadline.